Okay. Welcome back to Taking Action. I'm Chris Colombo, Anthony Conover with me as usual. I'm a little hard on him, but he's going to learn how to do this because he's got a future in it. Certainly trying, Chris. Certainly trying. All right. We'll there is no over. try. Do it, don't do. It's like what Yoda said. What? It's like what Yoda said. Big Star Wars fan. Yeah. Well, I got the same height as him. Come on. Thursday night, we kick it off. Detroit at Green Bay. Green Bay started off as a one and a half point favor. They're now a one and a half point underdog. What do you like? I actually like the lines in this game. It just came out two offensive linemen, um, a linebacker, and the safety for the Packers are all ruled out for Thursday already. So I think the Lions take advantage of that and win this one. Who's home? Green Bay is. I hate to go against home team underdog. But I'm going to go with your pick. It's not one of mine. Who do you like? I would go with the Lions. I would have went with Green Bay, but I'm going to go with you. Okay. All right. Sunday, Atlanta at Jacksonville, sort of. This game is played in London. Uh, it started off as Jacksonville is a three-point favorite. That's where the line still is. Well, you gave me a bit of advice there, and I never paid attention to the to the, the games where you had to travel because I didn't know how to put that as a component because how do you know who it affects? But the Jaguars are the most winning team, which you told me, in England. Yeah, they put they've played nine games over in London already. No other team has like more than four or five. So they're 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 there all the time. How did they do? Uh they've been I mean the team hasn't been very good, so they're kind of iffy, but six hour time difference, they're used to it. They know how to schedule everything. Yes, but every year it's a different team. Oh, they had the same players for a few years now. That's your philosophy? I'll go with the Jaguars. Really. I like the yeah, I like the Jaguars in this one. God help me. But <laughs> Baltimore at Cleveland. Cleveland actually started off as a one and a half point underdog. They are now two and a half point favorites. That's a three and a half point move. Uh, Cleveland's at home. Cleveland is at home. Cleveland is one of the teams that before the season started and the Cardinals, I wrote down for you, they're going to be very good against the spread. They may not win the games, but they're going to cover. They're always not given credit for whatever. Uh, I agree with you on the Browns. Cincinnati is at all the different reasons. (laughs) Cincinnati is at Tennessee. Um, Cincinnati, it it started off as Tennessee being a one and a half point underdog. They are now a two and a half point underdog. So Cincinnati is a two and a half point favorite at Tennessee. And they were one and a half. Yeah. What do you like? I just don't have much faith in Tennessee. I would go with Cincinnati. Burrow still playing, even with the calf injury. It looks like they got things figured out on offense last week. I would go with Cincinnati. I agree, but with all for different reasons. Bad. Denver at Chicago. Denver started off as a one and a half point favorite. They are now three point favorites. Who do you like? Nobody. They're both. I, I lean towards Denver. Go ahead. Okay. The Rams are at Indianapolis. Skip. Well, I don't blame you. Miami and Buffalo. Let's talk about that. That's an important game. Best game of the week. Okay, Absolutely. that's what you need me here for. Miami at Buffalo. The Bills started off as a three and a half point favorite. It's now down to two and a half. I would have bet them when they were three and a half. That's the idea of what I do, but I can't get to you then. Uh, it, it, it's just, I'll, twist. I'll never say Buffalo. I like Miami a lot. Best, you know, I best, don't jinx me. Best offense in the league right now. They just put up 70 points. Doesn't take 18 games to win a Super Bowl. You never know which one to drop, but that's a that's a division game, isn't it? It's a divisional game. It's a divisional game. So you're gonna bring their A team. Absolutely. Okay, and I think Miami is the better team. I would agree. Minnesota at Carolina. Minnesota started. Skip. Okay. <laughs> Pittsburgh at Houston. Skip. Skipping. Tampa Bay at New Orleans. That's a divisional game. You like those. Mm-hmm. I like them because they come to play them important. They're not looking towards next week who they're playing or the week after. They don't care about the flight. They care. That's important. Does not take 18 games to win a Super Bowl. I know. I know. That's what they want to do. And they want to get to the playoffs. That's the goal. That keeps jobs. That gives contract increases. Keeps people in the sands. Sells jerseys. And they feel good about themselves. And even if they, when they no longer have a career there, they do have a career. How they perform. And... Who's playing? That would be Tampa Bay at New Orleans. 
Uh, I know, and it's another thing you told me that you wanted to know before, too. Next week is when bye weeks finally start. Tampa Bay has a bye week the week after. Two weeks, that works against them. No, no, no. They, so they, this week they're at New Orleans. Yes. Next week they have their bye. Okay. Because those, those those Thursday night games and, and flying to wherever they are. What if England? What are we playing <laughs> rugby over here? <laughs> they're going to Germany this year, too. Yeah, but they, they, the Hoffman houses are good. <laughs> you know who I like in that game. You don't need to tell me. Who do you think I like? I would assume you like New Orleans. No, absolutely not. You like the Bucks? I like the Bucks. Okay. Getting three points on the road. Good. Washington at Philadelphia, another divisional game. Philly started off as a seven and a half point favorite. They're now eight point favorites. Well, I gotta tell you right now, you don't need me to tell you this. I think the strongest, if not the one of the most strongest and potent offenses in the league is the Philadelphia Eagles. But it doesn't take 18 games to win a Super Bowl. And who are they playing the following week? The following week, Philadelphia goes to L.A. to play the Rams. I like Philadelphia. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why they're in a rhythm. Their, their offense is now in a rhythm. Uh, Tampa Bay was who they played last, right? Tampa Bay last week. Who, who did Philly play this week? I they, forget them afterwards, so I don't bring it into this. They played, uh, they played the Bucks. Well, he played the Bucks. Yeah, I think uh, uh, the Bucks are ready. I I think they shut a Philadelphia offense down in the first half, which is tough to do. Uh, I, I had Tampa came and, and had some success in the second period. The team that could score in the second half, and and they were going against the most voracious offensive line I've ever seen. And Swift put a pounding on their defense. Yes. And which ties them out, uh, and they held in there the best they could. Uh, they didn't give up. They didn't quit. Uh, I'm going with guess who? The Eagles. I'm, I'm, yeah. e- e- Washington at Philly is what we're talking to you. Well, the Eagles. Okay. I mean, I don't ever like to lay that many points, but I think it's a team that deserves it. Let's just not hope they don't coast and say this is not an important game. We don't want to hurt our guys. But I think that Philadelphia team has all heart, and oh, yeah. it's a battling city. Uh, I like the way they're coached. I like the way they're playing. And plus, they're Swift and Kelsey <laughs> are better on the field. I would agree with that Although, as well. Although, nothing wrong with Kelsey and the other Swift. I mean, that's actually nice to see. Uh, we go Las Vegas. The Raiders are at the Chargers. Chargers started off as four and a half point favorites. They're now five and a half point favorites. I stay away from five and a half. Yes, you do. Never like Chargers is a very good team. Uh, Garoppolo, when he's on, he's as good as in anybody. Concussion protocol right now. Too. He's in concussion protocol right now, so you never know. I've been in concussion protocol my whole life. <laughs> I'm taking too many shots. Uh, that's an unpredictable game because when Garoppolo comes to play, there's nobody better, but. When he messes up, he messes up big. Big one here. Bad. Arizona at San Francisco, 14-point favorites. The San Francisco 49ers are over the Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> I know you love your Cardinals. I love, I love them the, against the, the spread. spread. They against don't give the spread. up. They're a well-coached team. they got young players. They've been trying to put together a dynasty forever, and they try, and they play. I take 14 points any day long. Okay. New England, my Patriots, are at Dallas. Dallas started off as a seven and a half point favorite. They're now six and a half point favorites. Dallas is an unpredictable team. When Zach Prescott and company come to play, you got to pick who comes to play. If he comes to play, he plays. If there's something in there that ain't in rhythm, it's a disaster. Uh, I don't know about that, but it should be a good game to watch. And then Sunday night, Kansas City is at the Jets. The uh, Kansas City started off as a seven-point favorite. They're now nine-and-a-half-point favorites. Well, I like to lay them points, but Jets can't put points on the board. And uh, I don't think Mahomes knows how to just score three points. No, no, no. 
I think, you know, uh, like Allen, he's full blast. The only thing he's learned to step out of bounds. Throw the ball away. Throw the ball away. Uh, but when he needs to, greatest warrior I've ever seen. Selfless, altruism, everything you want to say. Uh, I don't ever say the way those boys, but it's going to take 14 to make play now. And then, Chris, I have good news for you. There's only one Monday night football game this week. God. <laughs> Seattle at the Giants. Uh, so Seattle started off as a one-point favorite. You could pick that one. The Giants are the most unpredictable team historically. They've broken more streaks. They've stopped more people going to the playoffs. They've come as a wild card back to win the Super Bowl. You don't have to remind me. Don't have to remind me. It was the worst day in bookmaking in my life. Everybody in New York bet it. It was 60 to 1. You put $100 down, you got 6000 if they went to the Super Bowl. Let me tell you something. I'm still not recovering from that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I wouldn't. Uh... I wouldn't pick this one either. It's there. I mean, it'd be a good game to watch. But remember, you watch the games, you pick up things for next week. Absolutely. And you store in your memory. I can agree. That's all we got for this week uh, around the NFL. Good luck to everybody this week. I'm looking forward to helping you. Remember what you learned. Uh, you know what my main pick is. I said it. Uh, I gave you some peripheral ones, which I like. The lines are starting to tighten up. This is when my science comes in. We're going to start betting a hell of a lot less teams and having a hell of a lot more success. I think I was 4-4 four, four the first week. Yeah. I was 50-50 the second week, so that's a wash. And I went 5-6 of six this week, right? Yeah, about, I think, 5-7 of seven, somewhere in, the, in that nature. Okay, so we're not in too bad a shape. No. So we're, 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 what, 11 of 15. I was never good at math. But my main pick stood up. The only one that didn't was the uh, the Browns game on the uh, and Steelers. Yes, he got injured. The running back. Yes, Nick Chubb. Yeah, he made a difference because in order to, to set that steel defense off, you needed a guy like him pounding it, and they get tired. And that's when the running game opens up, or 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 the or the the passing game. Remember, if you control the clock in the middle of the field. You will control the game. There's three facets to football, offense, defense, and special teams. You don't have to win offense and defense. Win two of the three, you will come out okay, but then we got to evaluate the line. But always remember, defense is win big games. 